Check engine light is flashing. I don't know why. I bet just because of that key. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, here we go. Back up. Miguel. My receiver. I did damage it. My car just shut off. I'm using my phone just because I forgot where my camera's at. But I am grinding. Let me see if I get the shade out. As you can see, I'm grinding this thing behind there. The plastic to make my receiver fit in there. So I went ahead and I'm, I'm going to buy a new receiver from the junkyard. And install it without me having to cut the ring anymore. And I'm just making room for the dash. Where the ignition will go through, you can feel there's a plastic behind there on this side. I'm just grinding it down so it could almost get there. Just based so that key receiver will not interfere with that plastic when I put it in. And so it can actually like work. So if anything, I'd recommend we have the whole dash apart. May cut that off enough for that key receiver to go in there. Make sure it has enough room. Just so you don't have to do what I'm doing, having to make it go from here. So I'm going to try to reach it from in here. It's possible, it's just... You're making a big mess, but I don't really care at this point. I'm trying to get this car running again. It's been what, like three weeks since I had it running, and I'm anxious to get it back on the road. So, but so far it looks cool. I mean, I like the new updated look, I guess you could say. And if anything, I might be switching out the panels, the like these plastic panels right here. Okay, so my bro just went to the junkyard, got this for me. This is the one how it's supposed to be with this keyring thingy. And that's how I cut it. So yeah. And I'm just gonna swap out the internals. Which is this, that. The board, swap them out. And I should be good to go. And hopefully my car will start now. So let's give it a go. Just if they're checking the lights gonna be flashing. It's not flashing. Because it just needs a bit to recognize itself, I guess. Because you know how you've tried to start it and then you just shut off? Does that sound normal? Just if the check engine light was on earlier. Earlier it was flashing. Hopefully it will not flash anymore. Oh no, it's flashing. So far, so good. It works again. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Thought it wasn't gonna work, but it ran. It just turned on nicely and smooth. So let me just finish putting everything up, and I should be done with this whole thing. The only thing I was missing was, like we said, I think it's been a, like what a week or two weeks since I've worked on this again because of the situation with the key. So, yeah, I'll show you when it's all done and ready to go because I'm excited to get start driving this again. All right, so my dash is finished. So I can see this is up to the 2008 year plus whatever Dodges, the Chrysler doors, center console. I gotta, I'm, I gotta find a way to make this work. I don't know. Um, eventually, I'll find something to do with it because that's bugging me. I'm gonna uh, stop this the end of this video for this whole project. It was tough. I spent a lot of time because I had to work. Parts were not the right parts because I thought Chrysler parts for the air vents would work, but they didn't. You have to get the Dodge ones. There's actually a difference apparently. What else? The key thingy wasn't fitting right. The, the center console needed modification. The radio for me to put that radio needed modification. I swapped out the whole brace. I didn't think I'd have to swap out the whole brace, but I did have to. But everything's done. I'm happy the way it turned out. I finally have an updated car. And instead of all old now, it's, it was out of its day. Obviously, I don't have the newest, newest one, but I like this updated 2008 model year look. Freaking loser. <laughs>